dulce bella signorina Avete capito what you mean to me? That's the most terrible thing I ever heard. <laughs> now, see here, Kathleen Francis O'Hara Williams. It so happens I wrote that most terrible thing you ever heard. I think it's a pretty nice song. It'll fit into this little European act. So, oh, Danny, all you can think about is your song. You're not even interested in what happened to Charlie. What happened to Charlie? What's the matter? His baby bit him? <laughs> His temper shots didn't take, right? Stop guessing and let me read it to you. No, please, please, let me guess. Charlie got himself into some kind of a jackpot. He hired some kooky blonde to dance in the course as a favor to Swifty Gargan. Now, it turns out the blonde cannot dance. He's got to let her go, but he doesn't know how to tell Swifty because Swifty Gargan is one of them their ill-tempered citizens of ours. You guessed it. Not bad for a shot in the dark. <laughs> Besides, I read the letter. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Danny, why didn't you tell me? Oh, for goodness sake, why didn't you ask me? <laughs> I wonder what'll happen if and when Charlie ever gets nerve enough to tell Swifty. Well, what kind of a character is this Swifty? Well, a Snow White, he's not. <laughs> Swifty, I gave her a tryout last year. Yeah, but that was before she took the dancing lessons. Swifty, I, 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 she just can't seem to keep step with the other girls. When, when the other girls are going like this, she's going like that. <laughs> so, make the other girls go like that. <laughs> make the other girls go like that? Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> what time do you want it to stop? Now, wait a minute. Now, look. Now, look. This is my nightclub, and you can't tell me who to hire. You're pointing. Anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm not gonna take this lying down. I got a couple of boys that'll be very happy to put you right in that position. First show was eight o'clock. <laughs> will, 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 will that be okay? It's that morning or evening. Oh boy. <laughs> Charlie. Hi, Russ. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, oh honey. Hi. Well, now that I've swept you off your feet, what else is new? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, just business problems. You know. Oh. Well, honey, listen, I think I have a little news that might cheer you up. Yeah. Today, you had a call from an old boyhood chum of yours. Boyhood chum? Uh-huh. What's his name? William Miller. William Miller? Well, honey, he said you all hadn't seen each other in a long time, but that you'd remember him. Miller, Miller, Miller. Charlie, don't tell me you've forgotten because I invited the man to dinner tonight. I, ne I never knew any William. Oh, sure, you mean Pee Wee. <laughs> oh, little Pee Wee Miller. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Gosh, Bunny, you realize how far back he goes. No. We were kids together in grammar school. No kidding. Yeah, I used to fight all his battles for him. Oh. Yeah, he looked up to me. <laughs> <laughs> he looked up to you? I was a lot taller then. <laughs> Pee-wee Miller. Gosh, he was such a sweet little guy. I, I used to say to him, don't worry, because you're small and not strong like me. All you gotta do, kid, is use your brain and you'll do all right. And then I'd, I'd take his hand and I'd walk him home so the other guys wouldn't pick on him. Oh, yeah, I, I'll get it. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie boy! <laughs> Anymore, man. They call me Moose. Yeah, but that's well. Put me down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Well, aren't you going to introduce me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this is my wife, Bunny. This is William Miller. Oh, hello. How, how are you, Mr. Miller? How do you no. do, man? <laughs> you married a swell guy, Mrs. Halper. I remember he'd do anything for me in the old days. Yes. You son of a god. <laughs> 
I'll do anything for you. You'll do anything. Will you do something for me now? Name it, pal. Just name it. Put me down. <laughs> what happened? What? You didn't grow. Well, I, I've been busy, you know. <laughs> Is that your boy? Oh, no, no. This is Danny Williams' boy, Rusty. Oh. Hiya, kid. I'm a fan of the old man's. Thank you, sir. But tell me, what brings you to New York, Pee Wee? I mean, uh, Moose. I'm here for the AMA convention. You're a doctor? No, AMA. Associated Musclemen of America. Oh. <laughs> Tally, you take a course with me, and I'll guarantee that in six months, I'll have you almost as strong as the kid here. Excuse me, Miss Halper. Oh, yes, but pardon me. But the janitor's in the kitchen, and he wants to see you. Oh, well, all right, Louise. Tell him I'll be there in just a minute. Oh, and, and Louise, remember, please, that we're having moose for dinner. Moose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll look, but I don't think we got any of that in the freezer. <laughs> no, Louise, that, that is the gentleman's name. <laughs> oh, uh... Oh, never heard a name like that before, and I didn't hurt them all. <laughs> well, uh, if, if you'll excuse us, please, uh, Mr. Moose. Uh, Rusty, would you come in the kitchen? I have some oh, things on the grocery sure. list. You See can you later. go sure, to this. Sure. Hey, sit down, Moose, and tell me what you've been doing with yourself. I, I, I mean, you, 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 I, you grew. I never saw anything like it. If you think I grew, you should see Itchy Conlon. He's much bigger than I am. No kidding. Well, when did you see Itchy? Oh, about a month ago. They gave him a coming out party. Coming out party? Yeah. He came out of State Pen. Yeah, I hate to hear Richie was in jail. Well, he wasn't alone. He had a lot of the boys from the block in there with him. Tough break for those fellas. Yeah, you know, Charlie, if it wasn't for you, I might have wound up in the State Pen myself. But I always remember what you said. Be calm, use your brains, and you'll always be all right. I'm not kidding, I know, but... I'll tell you, it was pretty easy to go wrong in the old neighborhood, boy. Yeah. What a, what a rough gang. Yeah. And the, I tell you, someday, someday, somebody is gonna tell that man off. What happened? What is it, honey? Oh, Charlie, it's that new janitor. Oh, God, he is the rudest man in the world. Well, what, what, what are you doing now? Oh, Charlie, he's just so insulting. Every time I ask him to fix something, he has the same answer. Well, I'll fix it when I'm good and ready. Why don't somebody do something about this guy? Well, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, that, the, the, uh, 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 the nerve, the nerve of that guy to come up here and assault, assault my wife like that. You know uh, what I'm, gonna, you know what I'm gonna do. You know what? Charlie, what are you going to do? He's like this, and you're like this. Oh, 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 honey, I'm sorry, I didn't. No, look, darling, d don't worry about it. Uh, I'll tell Mr. Perkins about it tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure, sure. My wife gets insulted, and she doesn't want me to do anything about it. A lot of respect she's got for me. Well, Charlie, sweetheart, I not only respect you, but I love you. Well, I wouldn't have you any other way. You wouldn't? Well, of course not. I didn't marry you because you were tall and brave and handsome or anything. <laughs> what do you mean, or anything? Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, I, 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 I think I better change the <laughs> Yeah, things have changed, Moose. Not like the old days. A guy insulted my wife, I do nothing about it. But now I'm, I'm going to do something about it. I don't care what Bunny says. I'm going down there and let that guy have it. Wait a minute, Charlie. You're too smart to fight. Remember what you always told me? Never use fists, use words. What do you want me to do, slap him with an adverb? <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, never in a fit of anger. Wait till after dinner. When you've cooled off. No, Moose, it won't work. I gotta go down there and tell this guy off once and for all. I'm gonna go down there, bang on his door. When he comes out, I'll look up at him. He'll look down at me. And uh, you're right, I better wait till I cool off. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna change too. If I were you, I would never insult Mrs. Halper again if you know what's good for you. Whoa. I don't want to have any trouble with you. Uh, what are you going to do with that elbow joint? Elbow joint? That's a straight piece of pipe. <laughs> elbow joint. Well, what was it you wanted from me, sir? 
The next time you see Mr. Hopper, I want you to apologize uh, to apologize. him. Apologize? Yes, sir. Crawl, if necessary. Craw crawl, yes, sir. I'll, I'll crawl. My mother always told me to leave things like I find them. <laughs> and remember, it always pays to be nice to people. Nice. Yes, <laughs> Hey, Moose. Oh, Moose, I hope I wasn't too long. Yeah, no, just long enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, Charlie? Yeah? I've been sitting here thinking. What? Maybe you're right. Maybe you ought to go down and see that uh, janitor and tell him off. That's what you were sitting here thinking? <laughs> you, had to, you, you, you had to think that? Yeah. And do it right now. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cool enough yet. In fact, I'm a little warm. I'm, I'm hot. In fact, I'm so hot, I'm shivering. <laughs> Down there, bang on a door and show him this. If I had that, I would. All I got is this. <laughs> that doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside of a man. And do you know what you are inside? What? What am I inside? You are a tiger. A tiger? Well, quick, turn me inside out. I want to see. <laughs> Charlie, quit clowning. I tell you, you're a tiger. I am? Just like a tiger of the old days. You remember the way you were? Yeah. Fierce. Come on. Yeah, well, yeah. Go on out there and get him. Yeah. yeah I Come on. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure I'm a tiger? <laughs> Now, there's something I want to talk to you about. Mr. Halper, you're just the man I want to see. No, I'm sorry about insulting your wife, sir. And I assure you, it'll never happen again. And I want to apologize for the way I talked to you. I was very rude, and I'm sincerely sorry. And another thing. Yes, sir. You talk to my yes, wife and anything above a whisper. Yeah, uh, Mr. Halper, isn't there something I could do to make it up to you? Anything at all, anything. I want the kitchen repainted. I'll do it. <laughs> when? Immediately. That's not soon enough. <laughs> You'll get the paint tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, morning I'll no do later. It the first thing or tomorrow. else. Yes, Mr. Halper. You will know. Yes, sir. The reason. Yes, sir. What do I mean? <laughs> what do you know? I think it works. <laughs> I think I really am a tiger. I will work hard. I will work hard. Oh, Charlie, honey, well, what happened? Was he nasty to you? Did he start any trouble? <laughs> honey, <laughs> are you kidding? I mean, can a mouse make trouble for a tiger? <laughs> a tiger? Uh, yeah, inside. Inside. Honey, you would have been proud of the way I stood up to that big clown. <laughs> I, I really, I really scared him. You did? Yeah, not only did he apologize for all the times he insulted us, but from now on, he's gonna do anything you want, anytime you ask him. Oh, Charlie, I'm so uh, proud of you, I darling. You too, pal. <laughs> You've got a great guy there. Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't talk like that if I was as big as him. Linda, Linda. Honey, come here. Honey, what's wrong? I wish somebody do something about that big bully. Oh, oh, listen, come here, honey. Sit down here and tell Aunt Bunny all about it. What's the matter? It's that mean man in 802. You mean Mr. Horner? Yes. He called me a noisy little brat and he broke my doll. He broke your doll? Yeah, and he said if he ever caught me playing in the hall again, he'd give me a spanking. Oh, he did? Well, Linda, you sit right down here in that chair. I'm gonna go next door and I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Now, hold it. <laughs> the uh, tiger will take care of this. Charlie, dear, look, just because things went well with the janitor, don't press your luck. Funny, darling, it wasn't just luck. I've been thinking about it, yeah? Now, why, why would a rough character like that back down in front of me? I'm not a big man. Although I am well proportioned. <laughs> and, and the answer, the 
the answer came to me. It did? Yeah. It came to me like this. He backed down in front of me because he knew I wasn't going to back down in front of him. And as long as a guy knows this, he's not going to give you any trouble. So I am going to go over there to Mr. Horner, and I am going to give him a piece of my mind. Oh, wait a minute, child. <laughs> Moose. Get out of my way. Charlie, <laughs> never in a fit of anger. Be calm. Uh, why don't you go over here and uh, fix Linda's doll? And uh, after a while, you uh, go over to uh, see the man. What's the man's name, dear? Mr. Horner. Yeah, Mr. Horner, and uh, you can tell him off. Yeah, okay, I'll do it like that. Come on, we'll fix it, honey. Where's the glue? Well, I'll get it for you, dear. Come okay. on. <laughs> set and she'll be as good as new. Hey, Moose! 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 Where you been? I uh, just stepped out to get some air. Say, Charlie, there's a guy out there who wants to see you. I don't know what he wants. Oh? <laughs> oh, uh, so it's, uh, so it's you, Mr. Horner, huh? Well, now, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think that was very nice. You, uh, I mean, you should say to Linda that she's a noisy brat. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. You see, that was all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Yeah, she's a real nice kid. Yeah, well, then, uh, why, uh, why'd you break her doll? Well, that was, that was an accident. I'll buy her a new one. I promise you, Mr. Halbert, you'll never have any trouble with me ever again. I better not, because it'll be the last thing you ever do, see? Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, can, can I go now? Get lost. Yes, sir. <laughs> and remember, buddy, you remember this, one more peep out of you and it's curtains. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Tiger. Yeah, kid. <laughs> Look, Moose, if anybody, I mean anybody, ever gives you any trouble, you just let me know, baby. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I'll, I'll always remember that. Bonnie! Yes, dear? You can tell Linda that Horner's not gonna bother anymore. Oh? <laughs> Why not? Because he was just here and I threw him out. You threw that big hulking brood out? He sure did. From now on, I take no guff from anybody. How about dinner? Oh, yes, master, yes. <laughs> Say, uh, dinner's almost ready. Can I go and wash up? Bathroom's in there. <laughs> yes, fellas. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Oh, Felix. Felix. What? He is. Swifty said he... Uh-huh. Will you tell him... Never mind. Don't you tell him. I'll come down there and tell him myself. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right down. <laughs> I'm taking all I'm gonna take from that guy. Oh, boy. Bunny! Yes? Well, honey, where are you going? Dinner's almost ready. Hold the dinner. I'm going down to the club. There's trouble. Oh, what's the matter? No, it's that Swifty Gargan, some cheap gorilla trying to push me around. Wants to change the whole show so he can star as no talent girlfriend. I'm, I'm going to straighten that guy out. Well, Charlie, can't this wait? Oh, no, it can't wait. I'm going to go to that club, throw that crumb out, and, and come right back. Oh, all right, be careful. Oh. Uh, hey, Charlie. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, Moose, Charlie just left. He'll be back a little later. Oh, uh, Moose, why don't you sit down and read the paper before dinner? Well, thank you very much. Moose, can I ask you a question? Well, sure. Uh, Moose, did Charlie really stand up to that Mr. Horner, or was he just bragging? No, he stood up to him all right. Charlie can handle himself. Uh, why do you ask? Well, Moose, I don't understand it. Charlie is not being Charlie with this tough guy stuff and the whole thing. And now he just left to go down to the club to handle some rough character who's been giving him trouble. He did what? <laughs> Well, he said he was going to throw him out, and then he'd be right back. Bunny, I've got to get to the Copa Club fast. What for? Well, Charlie's in trouble. I don't want him to get hurt. Well, well, he didn't get hurt when he stood up to Mr. Horner. Yes, after I had a chat with him. And the janitor? I had a chat with him, too. Oh, no. Oh, no, I should have known it. 
Try and call him on the phone and see if you can stall him. Oh, all right, Moose, I will. Poor Charlie! Billy told me you were here. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. There's a couple of things I want you to do. Now, we're gonna have to move some of these tables out of here so Flossie and Lael have enough room for her leg kicks. Oh, and one other thing. You know in the Westerns how the good guys always wear the white hats and the bad guys always wear the black hats that don't know the difference? Well, I want Flossie here in a white costume and all the other girls in black. You mean I'm gonna be a good guy? Oh, that'll be a first. <laughs> How about that? I got a flash for you, kid. She's gonna be a nothing. What does he mean, Swifty? Yeah. What do you mean, pal? What does it look like I mean? And don't call me pal. Hey, I don't dig you, Buster. Unless maybe you drank some of that there courage before you got here. You know, a couple of little short snorts to kind of quiet the butterfly. <laughs> quiet butterfly. Sit down. Well, well, I guess I'll have to explain in words of one syllable. You are a hood. I don't like hoods. Get out. <laughs> you are calling me a hood? A cheap hood. <laughs> huh? Maybe skunk would be a better word. Skunk? Yeah. Well. Maybe I ought to call a couple of my boys. Maybe you ought to not make any calls. <laughs> Why don't you settle something by yourself for a change, eh? Since when are you so brave? Since I realized that it's time somebody stood up to guys like you, guys who go through life taking and grabbing, guys who wait for somebody else to build something and then come in and try to snatch it away. That's what you do. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, you're pretty... <laughs> you're really pleased with yourself, aren't you? Think you got it all figured out. Control through fear, eh? Huh? <laughs> well, there's one loophole. And what is that loophole? It doesn't work when you try it on somebody that isn't afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's you. That's me. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. I'm gonna give you the count of five to get out of here and take your girlfriend with you. Come on. Swift, are you gonna let him tell us what to do? A guy in my position can't afford to get into no kinds of brawls. What about my specialty number? Forget it. I ain't getting mixed up with no nut. <laughs> Yeah, Bunny. Huh? Oh, no, the phone was off the hook. What? What? What do you mean, is Moose here yet? Why should Moose be here? Huh? Hey, what? Hey, hey what? <laughs> hey, uh... Hey, 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 to Horner? Hey, there? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I hear you, yeah. Um, um, does he did the same? He did the same he did with, the, the, with the janitor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He uh, yeah. Um, um, but I, I thought that I, I mean, and then he's like a tiger, and, and I, I didn't know. So I, then I came here and he stood up. I said, "You're sweet, you're cheap." And he, and but I didn't. I said, "Hey, what's going on?"